welcome down here to this basement tavern and as you can see it's in a pretty raw state right now and that's why we're here we're here to finish it out i don't even know over there i don't even want to count right now and everything's going to just look like it's all intersecting and timber frame this is going to be pretty cool it's getting dark earlier we're in solitary confinement down there <laughs> all right that was not as dramatic as i thought it would be I just made my way over here to Whole Millwork. This is actually the location where we film our podcast. I don't know if you knew that. So we do these weekly podcast release. It's really awesome. If you're on Patreon, you know what I'm talking about. We're having a great time doing these. So we have some in-studio guests coming this time. It's a surprise. I'm not going to spoil it. If you're on Patreon, though, you'll know first. It's it's cool. I actually didn't think we'd be doing studio guests. So this is awesome. I invited one, one that I'm pretty pumped up about. So uh, you'll just have to wait and see. But after this, I am headed back to the tavern because John and the guys have been there. They were there yesterday, I wasn't there either. They're there today. And then after today, John and I are actually going on a vacation. We're going up to Durango, Colorado. We're actually going together. We're taking our families, of course. <laughs> we're not just going up there solo together. But yeah, I, I'm gonna not really have any updates on that job for like a week, because we're taking a week off. But we're gonna go over there. I'm gonna show you guys what they got up to after the podcast. But I wanna kinda show you inside here too and some behind the scenes of how this whole thing goes so let's let's go check it out hey good morning <laughs> pretty good what's up guys these are the other two jokers right here what's up <laughs> <laughs> thank you <laughs> yeah, I am. Y'all are usually behind the camera. <laughs> Alright guys, we are behind the scenes here at the podcast here at Brent's office in this place is pretty sweet. If you're ever in town, he does the building and brews classes, look up the schedule. You can come by and check this place out. Tons of inspiration, tons of awesome samples on the wall for clients, 100 year windows over here, different style doors. It's just basically an adrenaline rush of craftsmanship. It's pretty sweet. So I don't know if you guys knew this, but uh, Jackson and I actually started a podcast in addition to Passion for Craft. This is called Religion and Politics. I thought it would be like pretty, like uh, just smooth talking, not yeah. really gonna ruffle anyone's feathers, uh, but where we could really share our real opinions on things. Yeah, so the first thing I wanna say is Right, guys we just finished filming up the podcast everything went smooth now i'm headed out to that tavern job see how those guys are doing see what kind of progress they made If you guys remember in the last video, we left off on getting this ceiling right here installed. These big six by six beams, yeah. four by fours mortised in, intersecting, and we did that, got that done. So the next day, we went ahead and started working on these four by fours, because if you're following along with this, you know video one, we got all these six by sixes set in, and then we moved to the four by four. So same exact scenario that we had over there, 
we went ahead and knocked it out here as well. A little bit different dimensions, but essentially the same exact thing. So once we finished with this ceiling, we moved on into that smaller section and we knocked out at as well. It was basically three large six by six beams, four by fours mortised into it. Only difference there is there's only one line of four by fours. There's not a double intersection in there that makes that grid layout, just a single straight line of those beams. So I essentially left the job at this point and they started wrapping these concrete beams. So remember these steel posts right here, this was all excavated. This tavern, this basement did not exist. It's newly excavated. So they came in with these steel beams right here, supporting everything, concrete on top of that. Um, whatever the engineer had called for, like to make this thing structurally sound, it doesn't look pretty. So we have to wrap it in wood to make it look finished. So they started wrapping these right here, all these concrete beams, their mitered ends, glued them up together. These are all white oak flooring. So it just has this kind of just old style plank look. It looks super cool. And they got this done and they also started on a beam over there. Um, they're getting that done. And there's also a soffit over there that they pretty much have completed up to the miter. So this stuff is looking super good. It's really dusty and stuff. It's gotta be cleaned up. It's already pre-finished. All they have to do is, you know, do some minor touch-ups and then just clean this stuff off. And it looks freaking gorgeous. So progress is moving along here. It is coming along nicely. I think when we're gone on vacation, they're gonna probably have a lot more of this done. They're gonna have probably these ceilings ran for the most part, cause we're gone for a week. So maybe, maybe a couple of these ceilings installed. Uh, there is quite a bit of notching here, so I'm not sure how long that's gonna take. It's definitely gonna add some time to the mix. But uh, I think when we come back guys, we'll probably be installing the mantle over there and we'll definitely be looking at paneling. Probably finishing up some of the ceiling, but I'm just trying to kind of gauge where we're gonna leave off on this thing. Cause again, they aren't gonna be filming it. And I do wanna kind of, you know, take you on this journey from start to finish with this thing. So yeah, that's kind of the update here on the tavern so far.